This is a drawing from back in GCSE. This is the picture that we had to follow and this is the final outcome. Today I want to be recreating what I drew back then but also showing you how to do it. The picture that we had to draw from isn't as detailed as the final drawing. This was only because we were following what one of the other students had done with her drawing. She took her drawing to the next level by actually shading it to be more realistic than the picture we were studying from. I want to show you that this is not as hard as it looks. It looks really fantastic and detailed but actually I'm sure a lot of you can do this if you just follow these techniques. I'm going to teach you how to do it so you can draw just as well as this. I'm going to be using the Faber-Castell pencils alongside some cotton to smudge it out and a rubber and this thing. Just want to let you know that when I did this, I didn't have any of this. A 2B pencil and a rubber. That was it. The first thing I'm going to do is with a normal HB pencil, just sketch out the shape that I want to have. If you find this part difficult, you could just trace it out. So this is going to be a very light sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time round. Imagine the golden ratio where it goes into a spiral. Start with that. To draw really lightly, just hold up the end of the pencil. I just keep correcting it until I'm happy with the shape. So I'm quite happy with the shape right now. What I'm going to do is just go deeper into the line and rub off what I'm not happy with. Alright, for the next step, I'm going to be doing those squiggly lines climbing in. From looking at this, I see that they're going from an edge and then curving in to make that spiral kind of effect. So if you can Im simplify these shapes, you can imagine them as spirals that go inwards as such. So it curves inwards rather than this. But when you do it, you can lightly draw this and then shade it like this. So you want it to curve more near the edges and less in the centre as that will show it more 3D looking if it curves a lot near the ends. I'm adding random bits that come out and this is what actually makes it more realistic when you have errors make it more real than if everything was just accurately straight. Next is just getting darker. I'm going to be shading darker along the edges and along the insides. So there is several techniques to this. Obviously one being holding it down closer to the paper and pressing harder whilst holding it at the edge of the pencil when you want to do it lighter or you could try doing cross hatching which is pretty much what this is which gets closer and closer which makes it look like it's getting darker and darker and also I did like the gradients with the pencil holding it down and then going lighter and lighter I'm going to use a darker pencil now so I'm going to go up to 2B so this is usually what I use for the more sketches. So. 2B is the one. And I'll go back over the line so I can see where that is and just take it step by step getting darker and darker. I'm going to start going in deeply with the lines now. I'm going to have an imaginary line that goes along the centre, along here, which is going to stay light. So I'll do dark, light, dark. Alright, now it's time to show the power of cross hatching. If I'm doing a couple of lines like this here, and then when I change my direction of the pencil, it becomes a lot, lot more darker. So I'm going to add more cross crosses towards the edge and less crosses near the near the light side and I'm going to do this all the way around 
I'm doing it quite roughly now because I know I'm going to smoothen it out a little bit more later. I'm going to use this to smudge it out now. I'm just going to make it more and more clean each step of the way. So this step is to smudge it out. What is this? Blender. Yeah, blender. Now I'm going to use the cotton to blend it down even more. This takes away some of the lead but it will make it look a lot more smoother. You can see how, how much more smoother it is just from doing this bit. The detail is gone but now I have the base to just uh, go back over it. I know where to put the pen down so it's not going to be that difficult to go, go back over it. It's just sketching over what we've already drawn. But look at that difference already. I think when I did this, I definitely didn't use the cotton but it's still possible to do that effect just using blunt. I'll go back over with a darker than 2B pencil, like as dark as I can go, back around the edges just to bring that extra depth. How are you today? 